Welcome back, sports fans. Mike Kretz here. The Nuggets, they've fallen into third place in the West since the All-Star break. And last night, it was a tough test. Taking on the league's leading Milwaukee Bucks at the Pep Center. Let's get you out to that game right now. Just uh, one small caveat. Giannis in street clothes, but... Watch out, Mr. MPJ. Sterling Brown's about to dunk it on your head, drives the paint and slams it down over Porter. Now, this isn't nearly as flashy, but it still counts all the same. A pair of misses is finally going to be put in strongly by Jeremy Grant. Denver's up by 16. Later, Paul Millsap gets him to buy on the up fake. The 35 year old still knows how to do it to the rim. And you know who else can do it? Yeah, one Kyle Corver. He's going to use this screen and send it in from range. And I'm not one for showing plays that don't count, but You've got to see this. Jamal Murray making a statement, driving in and throwing down the nasty dunk over the Bucks. DJ Wilson, but it's waved off. Murray's called for the offensive foul. We can debate it on the second look, but either way, kids these days. Okay, that was two that didn't count. Here's three points that did. Murray with a crossover, step back move, knocks down the tray. Nuggets would go on to get the 109-95 win in our half game back at the Clippers for second in the West. Okay, let's get you out to the LA with a win. The Ash could jump into first place in the West, but Pavel Francouz and the Avalanche, well, they got off to a slow start. Nobody can find the rebound except for Austin Wagner. Watch it actually comes off Nathan McKinnon right into the path of Wagner coming into the net to make it one nothing. Later, still in the first, Martin Ferg passes across to Mikey Anderson. He fires a deep wrister that flies through the air and is deflected in the net. Check it out again. Yeah, it looks like an easy save, but gets deflected right in there. Two nothing Kings. Early in the third, kind of out of nowhere, Ian Cole flips it to Pierre Edward Bellamy and he scores on the wrister. Check out this angle. Just takes a fortuitous bounce at the last second. So here comes the abs, right? Uh, wrong. Alex Afalo takes the puck off the boards and evades Ryan Graves. Faking left, flipping the puck up in on the stick side. Kings get that 3-1 win. Abs remain two points behind St. Louis for that top spot with a one game in hand. Now CMU will be playing the team they beat Saturday in the RMAC Championship game this Friday in Lubbock, Texas for the first round of the National Championship Tournament. Of course, I'm talking about Westminster now. It's important to remember the Griffins did give the, Arm give the Mavericks its first RMAC loss of the season back in late January. I asked Coach Wagner today if he was happy about the fact that the Mavs are playing a familiar foe this early in the dance. I'm just happy that we're playing, you know, and we, we've got an opportunity to go. And really the seeding one through eight, it doesn't matter at this point. I think the number one seat's happy because they're hosting. But anybody can beat anybody right now, and I think that's the, the main point. And at this point in the year, when you, when you get to the regionals, you have to up your game. You can't rely on last week or, you know, a month ago. You have to change the way you play. You have to change your mindset if you want to advance. And, you know, we have to be ready. The girls, you know, have to be ready. You, you can't get down early, and you can't be timid. And if you do, you go home. You do go home indeed. This is the sixth time in program history. The Lady Mavs have made it this far. Game again is at 7.30 p.m. Friday. Former colleague of mine, Tyler Reed, will be broadcasting the game on the team. That's 101 FM, 1340 AM. We also had the chance to hear from the men's team, also RMAC tournament champions, and also playing in the big dance. We'll have a preview tonight at 10. But that's it for sports for now. I'm Mike Kretzen. We'll be right back. See you then.